everybody, it's Huey and David. We're back to talk to you about some sex ed topics, I guess. One of the very common topic actually um, is whether you or your partner is cut or uncut. The pros and the cons of being cut or uncut. I feel like there's kind of a stigma around that in the gay community uh, or in sexuality in general. A lot of people are talking about being cut is more hygienic or blah blah blah. So we're just gonna go over all these things and figure out the pros and the cons of being cut or uncut. So the pros and cons of being cut. What are the, some of the pros? So one of the, the, the pros of being cut is that it reduces the risk of urinary tract infection. I don't know how to say that word. So I don't know. Good job. <laughs> like something in your penis that can get infected. There's less chances of being infected if you're actually cut. But the thing is, a lot of uh, in the Western world, a lot of babies are cut at birth. Uh, so this was a decision that was made by the parents. So I feel like the babies were not given the option. Uh, so I think if it was for our child, we wouldn't do that at birth. Like we would let them decide themselves when they a little bit older. Exactly. But the thing is, when you're older, it's a little bit more painful, and also you remember the pain, which is kind of. It reduces the risk of some STI if you are actually caught. But still, don't forget to always wear a condom. Is that really a pro or a con? I don't think so, because you still have to wear a condom anyway. And also, the percentage of the infection increase is so minimal, it's under a 1%. One per one percent. So for the difference it makes, does that really mean you should get caught? I don't think so, but the choice is yours. Oh, another con uh, might be loss of sensitivity, I guess. I mean, uh, there's a lot of nerve ending like on your foreskin. Um, I don't really know because both of us are not cut, so <laughs> we <laughs> never really experienced the uh, the loss of sens sensitivity. But yeah, like uh, so, if you are, for example, if you are cut, tell us uh, in the comments if that's true. If you remember uh, both, um, so it, uh, actually, there's some study about it, and it's not in every cases. Like, let's say for someone who was actually older and was able to tell, like, was there. Uh, a loss of sensitivity, not in every case, but in some cases, yes, there was a lot of sensitivity. So I guess it depends from a person to another. Another, I would say a con is it's a little bit harder to jerk off without to your... masturbate. You might find, find it harder to masturbate, is the proper word, uh, without, without lotion. Without lube. Yeah, so for having talked to other guys, I know for a fact that if you're caught, it's easier to jerk off with lotion or lube. Uh, some people were cut at birth due to religious reason. But then again, like this, this is um, forced upon a baby by the parents. Like the child might not necessarily want to be part of this religion when they grow up. Exactly, so, and being caught is like a constant reminder of that religion. So if you're not into that religion growing old, uh, then that might be a problem for you. Yeah. Another pro of being caught is actually uh, for hygiene. It actually is cleaner. You might have less other if you don't clean, but you should clean anyway. So if you're actually cleaning your skin properly, you should not smell more than a guy who's caught. The cheese! <laughs> what? <laughs> so let's talk a bit more about being uncut, uh, which I think is a good thing because you are given the choice if you are not cut at birth. Having the choice is always good because if you decide to be cut later on, you can do it. Yeah, you have the option. Uh, it's Bibs Booger. <laughs> Charlotte, you're gross. There's also the fact that sex is as pleasurable as possible if you still have your skin. 
How about you go get cut and tell me if that's the case? <laughs> no. I love all my body parts. <laughs> Even though it's like such a normal operation and like how professionals are trained to do it perfectly, uh, it could go wrong in some cases. Like a butch circumcision can. <laughs> Botched or butch? Butched. Botched. Butch. Like, isn't a butch like a butch person? A butcher, a not bu a butcher. But it's botched. A botched job. It's not a butch job. Butched. It's a butch job? Yeah. No, it's a botched <laughs> job. Well, <laughs> let's see. We'll find out after who's right and who's wrong. Whatever. A circumcision that's gone wrong could lead to like health problems later on in life. So it doesn't happen quite often, but it's still very possible. Do not attempt to do this yourself. Why would you even? Well, some people might. I don't well, know. If you're watching our channel, please don't. <laughs> so that's about it, guys. Um, cut or uncut. Yeah, let's not put stigma on people because of that. If you have your skin, it's fine. If you don't, it's also fine. <laughs> yeah, so that's it about the subject of today. Um, if you liked it, hit the subscribe button and give the unicorn his horn. And if you have comments, or if you want to share with us if you're caught or uncut, put it in the comments below. Mm. Bye. <laughs>